YouTube. Look at Oh God, we can't even breathe. This is a huge fire. And it's just up there, so I have my apron. Remember, some time ago, I think it was two weeks ago. I posted a video. And um, I was telling you guys that I was going to fire get my I create a fire free here around the um the apron. And just got a call a while ago to say that. Just below the apron about I would say about 200 to 300 feet there's this huge fire huge fire raging guys called the fire unit the fire department and they said that they are on their way but they don't come as it so in the time being what I'm actually doing is to create from a safe distance a little fire free or a fire um, safe zone that means that the fire even spread to this zone it will buck up on um, strictly dirt instead of dry trash see but it's windy and you know that all it needs is just a wind to pick up a piece of the the um the the the, the, the trash or anything with the, with the fire on it and then the, just lodge it here so and then it gets out of control so at any time we can get out of control so but for the time being we have it under control so that is it yeah the people must say they're afraid Imagine me come on. Yo! You have to come around man, come right on. Come down and come around. Imagine me come on bees bush. To look after my colony. To look after my apron. To look after my bees them. And this is what I have to be doing guys. So what I'm doing now, you see that area? See the fire right there? I try now to go up this now to cut it off. Just like how me I do this. You understand me? Fire free zone. Trash free. So once you cut off the fuel, then you can contain it. So that's basically what I'm doing now. Cutting off the fuel source so that we can contain it. Because guys, look here. All of this is dead vegetation, dried vegetation. So once the fire touch this, the rest is history. All of it that you're looking at. So Trina come now for give me some water to drink uh, boy, it's not pretty. So guys, keep your posted. Alright people, so this is the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Fire containment. So you see, the fire reached there now. It won't be able to cross over onto the soil to burn any further. So we call that containment. One of the disadvantages with this method though, and why we never make this a little bit broader because it's supposed to make this at least 10 feet. At least. Because look at that trash right there. If that trash is lit and then the wind blows over here, all of this does not make any sense. So that's the one disadvantage. So we are doing this, but we are closely monitoring it. Make sure that we don't have any jump of the fire over onto this part right so this is this is what i'm talking about guys when we talk about containment all right yeah. and i'm right here watching it so just in case i can get to it so with this method you allow the fire to burn out all right run out of fuel and hence it's it is going to distinguish itself period all right people one more time fire is contained see there no longer a threat see it cooling down so this one we could say is effective so we're moving up to the another inside of the fire now see it let's cool it a cool longer now so we're moving up to that side now because since we move and then your so is always gonna be a problem to you know people. Your so can be a potential problem, right? So, so when I go down, when I go up, I go just draw one, one, one shovel or two wide. 
trap when I go up for cut off the fire because right as so can be a problem. Right as so can be a potential problem. So I'm not gonna do that. Then I go back up at the front because it's a burn from way upside of people. So I'm gonna do this now and then see me back up at the front. Tell them where I go on. So people, this is the day after. Stop the fire dead in its track. Just that it's here still burning, some of these logs still burning. But that is the least. So this is it. This is the damage. <laughs> and that is why fire is so dangerous. You know? Very destructive. Alright. So what they're gonna do now is to plant in the hash. Refer to this practice as slash and burn agriculture. Not a good thing though. Over the years, people have been doing this, especially say before technology was a thing like that. People used to use this practice. It's very detrimental because what happened now? It leaves the soil bare without vegetation. So if it should rain now, the soil is very dry. It's friable. There's no vegetation to cover the soil to prevent runoff. So you're going to have a lot of soil erosion taking place now. So that's one of the damage. Secondly, it damaged the fauna and flora, talking about plants and animals within the, sen the soil environment, right? And you know that is that there to maintain the ecosystem and to maintain certain balances in the, in the, in the natural um, ecosystem and habitat. So that's two. It also have other impacts such as environmental, right? In terms of the smoke, carbon dioxide and so forth, damaging the ozone layer. All right, um, and, and of course it's a nuisance, the smoke. Right now I'm standing here and trust me, my eyes are burning. Just imagine it. if I was here yesterday, and this is still burning. This is that guango tree, people. All right, this is a tree that they cut down. Massive tree, and you can see the tree is still on fire. It's burning from underground. See it? So this is going to be here for days. The only way this will this will um, distinguish is if we get some rain. And even then, depending on the, the, the length of the shower and the, the magnitude and strength of the shower, it may still burn. All right. So very dangerous practice. But one of the this one of the advantage with this now when you plant in the hash. Trust me, anything that you plant is going to come really, really, really good. Right, because the ashes. Is actually a fertilizer to the plant but that that advantage trust me the disadvantages would far outweigh the, the, that the single advantage so I, I would not recommend slash and burn especially now so I am using this as a caution to persons who may want to use such a, such a slash and burn agricultural practices to decease from doing it especially now we are in a drought, we are experiencing a drought. You can see the amount of dry vegetation over here. Right? Burn down the entire place. So that's that. I was worried yesterday that um it may reach to the bees. But we know we did we, we did what we have to do. We, we, we did what we have. To. <laughs> but you know. We did what we did and um, we had some success. Alright. So that is it. Thank you very much. And um, may God bless you. Remember to give, to share. Because it is not in, in gathering the most, but it is in sharing the most that the most is received. Thank you very much people. Peace.